Welcome to another episode of Ask Professor V. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my top five tips on how to survive finals week. But I want you to not only survive this most stressful time of the semester, I want you to thrive. Tip number one, make a study schedule and start now. Stick to it, do not negotiate, you have to be committed. So hopefully I'm catching you at a time where your finals are still a few weeks away. And I want you to outline every single day what topics or what sort of studying you're going to do for each of your courses. It's so much better to do it in little bits every single day leading up to your final exam instead of trying to pull these hefty review sessions where you get really burnt out and overwhelmed with the information. Also, outline for all of your classes strategically. Start with probably reviewing the oldest information first since it's going to be the rustiest and then you can save the newer stuff for the end and hopefully you won't need to go through it as in-depth and prioritize the courses that you're more nervous about, make sure you dedicate more time to them. And the other thing that's super important is that you need to stick to this schedule. Do not negotiate. Don't let other things come in the way. Don't say, I'll skip today's studying plan and I'll just double up tomorrow. That defeats the whole purpose. So you have to be committed, you have to want this, but start now. Don't wait until just a week before, a few days before, it's just not gonna go well. Tip number two, make your studying sessions active instead of passive. It's very relaxing to sit there and just read through lecture notes, read through the textbook, read through your previous homework assignments, even sit there and watch my videos, which I'm not saying you shouldn't do. But what are you doing during an exam? You have to solve problems. So that's what you should be practicing. That's the key skill that you need to develop. So what this means is yes, Resolve problems that you've already completed, solve new ones, go through your textbook, find more problems, make yourself a practice exam. You should know by now what sort of questions your instructor likes to put on their assessments for the most part. Mimic one, see what sort of questions you think they would put on and take that test in a time setting. Also, don't just complete problems that you already feel good about that you think you can solve. I found myself making this mistake many decades ago. But that problem that you don't wanna do, that you're intentionally avoiding, that's probably the one you need to work on the most. So don't create this false facade of, oh my goodness, I'm doing so well, I know I just solved 10 problems. Did you pick 10 that you knew you could solve? What about that ugly one over there that you didn't wanna solve? I think you should solve that one. Tip number three, make your studying and schooling a priority. It's very normal to get a lot of invitations, especially this time of year, from your friends and family to do things but if it's gonna conflict with your study schedule, you should say no, and don't feel guilty about it. Your schooling is really just such a short time period in your life, and so you have to be very laser focused during these years if you wanna achieve the goals that you set out for yourself. And even though your friends and family may have the best of intentions, they're not gonna be the ones who are gonna take your exams for you, and they're not gonna fix things for you if you fail, or you need to retake a course, or if you get yourself in a sticky situation. So always remember, no one's coming to save you. This is all on you. And you need to prioritize your schooling, your time, if you wanna get a certain outcome. Just keep telling yourself that this isn't forever and one day it will all be so worth it. Tip number four, take care of your physical health. What exactly does that entail? Make sure you're getting enough sleep and following a consistent sleep schedule. Fuel your body with nutritious foods. That's gonna look different for everybody, but make sure you're actually fueling your body and your mind. Don't load up on quick, sugary, junky snacks and drinks because that's not gonna make you feel good and it's not gonna make your brain function at its optimal capacity. Three, make sure you're properly hydrated. Drink enough water throughout the day. Super important that you don't over-caffeinate yourself. And four, get in some physical activity regularly. Now I know I did say prioritize your studying, but if you're gonna take a little study break, why don't you go for a walk? Move your body every single day. Taking care of your physical health will lead to you having a better state of mind when you go into your exams. And lastly, tip number five, do something every day that brings you joy. It doesn't have to be something huge. In my case, I absolutely love hot yoga. So it's kind of a two for one because it brings me joy and it's my workout. But find something that you enjoy, whether it's playing a musical instrument, reading, taking a bath, something that will just be your time. It doesn't need to be very lengthy. It doesn't need to be elaborate. 
so that you can just decompress and kind of reflect. You don't want to get so overstressed that you have this very anxious, nervous state of mind when you go in to take your exams. So it can just be something simple. Think about it. Figure out what brings you joy. Now you might say, but Professor V, you know what brings me a lot of joy? When I go out and party with my friends on the weekend. Yes, but now you're contradicting taking care of your physical health, getting enough sleep, and prioritizing your studying. So don't pick something that's going to bring you joy that's going to conflict with any of the other <laughs> tips that I've given you. So you can party when the exams are over, but right now find something balanced that's going to help you stay on track for your finals week. So those are my top five tips to help you survive finals week. And hopefully I caught you at a good time that finals are still a few weeks away so you can implement these into your routine. Now, I'm sure I didn't cover everything out there that's helpful, so feel free to drop in the comments below some of your best study tips for finals week so everybody can see and we can help one another out during this super stressful time of the year. I know, it wasn't my favorite either when I was a student. Thank you guys so much for your support. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you need to review for finals, you've come to the right place because I have full-length video lectures organized into playlists by course, Calc 1, 2, 3, Differential Equations, Pre-Calc, Trigs, Intro to Stats, and so much more. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math with Professor V, and I'll be back next Sunday with another episode. Bye!